hello internet you want to animate the propellers of this helicopter so that they continuously goes on without having to you know add keyframes through the rest of the timeline you want to do the same thing to the wings of this fly without having to add keyframes through the rest of the timeline because that can get tedious really fast especially if you have longer animations and you want to focus on the animation of the fly instead of the wings so you can automate this few things just like i've done this i've only used two keyframes for this and then three keyframes for that because it's just rotation from point A to point B then to point A. This one is just from point A to point B and then it goes on continuously. So by the way, this interface is telling you that it's Cinema 4D R26. Let it not intimidate you. It is very user friendly, similar to lower versions of um, Cinema 4D and this tutorial applies to those versions as well also if you are a maya autodesk user this tutorial applies to you so if you want to open the curve editor or uh, uh, the graph editor for the animation just click on the animated layer and then right click on it and then say show f caps this window will pop up open i already had it open it will like open somewhere here and then you can drag it wherever you want that's what i did so let's jump on to the demonstration window i've i have this guys here we'll start with the little fly you for now then I'm selecting the wings right here. You can see the keyframes, just three keyframes, and then I'm gonna have to automate the rest of it. Just select them, and then I'm gonna. Oh, where are my wings? I'm just gonna. Oh, here they are. I'm just gonna, while clicking on them, right click, show F curves, and then that window would open. As you can see, there are my curves, and. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit functions right here, track after, and then say repeat after. Repeat after is very important because uh, for for this guy here because it's like I said it's point A to point B and then to point A. When you say repeat after, it sort of completes the cycle for you so that everything is covered. It imitates the original um, or the initial keyframe information now if we hit play it goes on that black line is telling you that oh this is going to go to eternity it's going to go like no matter how much time you are putting on this animation so we don't have to worry about it and that's it about the flyer so one thing i can demonstrate again here is that even if you manipulate the keyframes, the repeated information is still going to be the same. For example, I'm keyframing the uh, I'm the whole body of the fly. I'm just like you know keyframing its position up and down. So I'm going to go to I think it's um, let's make this ten, and then on the fifth frame probably up this by let's say 10 to so add that oscillating movement up and down let's make this uh minus 10 i guess minus 10 as well yep is this 10 yeah it's minus 10 it's going up and down and then we are going to right click show f curves and select all those keyframes three of them go to functions track after uh, track after and then repeat after that black magic line tells you that the process is successful you click after you can see it's going up and down what i'm trying to demonstrate here is even if you manipulate these keyframes after performing this function 
it's still going to imitate whatever these keyframes are doing. They is going to honor and respect those changes. You can like drag them, even if they are not from like equally made. So it's still doing that. And yeah, just so you know, you can push this however you want. You can make it faster, slower, fancier. Yep, but that's it. Now let's hide this and go to the helicopter. The helicopter is a little bit different because it's only two points, point A and point B. Let's pause the animation to click the the propeller. By the way, I don't know the name of the helicopter's propeller. Is it called propeller? And if it has a different name and you know it, please put it in the comment section. <laughs> uh, this is point A. Of the, I'm, I'm just calling it the propeller. <laughs> I, I don't know if it has a different name. <laughs> and yeah, I've animated from point A to point B. Why is it different? Let's see how. Right click on it, same process, show its cap. This is different because we don't have to repeat it because it's only point A to point B. So when you select your, uh, when you um, select your keys, make sure they are linear because it's just going to like you know move on constantly unless your helicopter is taking off where you want to get fancier and make the uh, propeller sort of start slowly and you know start slowly this is this is the part where it doesn't apply to this tutorial it will like sort of start slowly and then increase in speed as it goes after but that's that's a different conversation we are trying to have a different conversation here and if you click on that i'm just saying make it um function or oh, key make it linear go to functions and then continue after instead of repeat after you continue after it's, it's saying oh i can notice this keyframe i'm just gonna go on and on to eternity and you know do whatever same function to this uh, i mean same process with that little tail propeller show f curves and then i'm gonna make sure that it's linear i can use it by here i can do that by hitting this button right here or undo that or just go to key and linear yeah more than one ways to kill a red continue after so now we have this again if you change the speed it's still going to honor that to eternity so undo that now we have all that information going on you only animate and keyframe this once and let the magic do the rest hey um thank you for taking your time to learn with me today and i hope to see you in the next video